Hi children, today we will be doing the short bead chain with arrows and squares. You remember the short bead square that we did at school? Yeah, it's the same material. It is in the corner in the maths room, right? I will take you, take you to that room and I'll show you where the short bead chains and the arrows and squares are kept. And then we will come back to the video. So this is our max room, you remember children? Yes, you can see the number rods and these are all the max materials that we have on the shelves. And in the corner of that shelf, you will find the chains hanging. That's called as a short bead chain. And this will be the chain of one, chain of two, chain of three, because it has three beads, right? One, two, three. Then a gap and one more, one, two, three. So because it is in three intervals of three, you call it a short bead chain of three, short bead chain of four, short bead chain of five. By now you would have known the color also. Short bead chain of six, short bead chain of seven, short bead chain of eight, short bead chain of nine, and short bead chain of 10 and you all know 10s are always golden beads only so short bead chain of 10 just above these short bead chains of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you have the squares also square of 4 square of 5 square of 6 square of 7 square of 8 square of 9 and square of 10. When you are doing your decanomial squares, you have already learned these colors. Is it not? So you will know by now that white stands for 7. You want to check and see? Let's count from the red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So white stands for 7. Let me repeat again. Let's go all the way up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So that is your short bead chain and the squares. Now we'll go back to see the squares. The squares will be otherwise kept in the shelf below. In the large shelf in one of the boxes it will be kept. I will bring it and show it to you on the chowki. This is the box of arrows. You have arrows for 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This will also match with the color of the square as well as the bead chain. I told you first the color of 7 was white, right? So here also you will find the arrows of 7 in white. Now shall we shall go to, uh, forward and see how we work with this material. I have brought from the short bead chain set from the shelf. I brought the short bead chain of 5. Or let's uh, I brought the blue chain. Okay. And I also brought the, brought the blue square which was above it. And next I will be taking the blue squares which is anyway showing the number 5 on top. Sorry these are called the arrows fives arrows okay now i don't need this i just brought it to the chowki to show it to you i don't need this this will be always in the shelf i will only bring in a tray the chain the square and the arrows for five now let's see how we work with this this is the you have to keep it straight on your mat and you know you can start counting one by one We'll start counting with the first bead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Let's continue. After 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. After 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. After 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 
So we have counted 5 again and again and again and again and again. It's, you either call it as skip counting of 5s or you call it the multiples of 5. What is multiplication? When you take quantities repeatedly, the same quantity again and again and again you call it as multiplication. You would have done it in your decimal system dynamic part multiplication in the same way. Take it the same quantity again and again and again. So you will find it at either as a multiple of 5 or as a skip counting of 5. Both are the same. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now let's see what we can do with this. Watch very closely what I am going to do with the chain. I am going to bring it like this. What do you think I have made of all these bead chains now? What shape has it formed? It has formed a square. Okay, it has formed a perfect square. You can confirm it with this square that we have here. You can keep it right on top of this and see that it is a perfect square. So we say that 5 square is 25. There are 25 beads in it, right? So we say a 5 square is 25. You can either say 5 square is 25 or you will instead of 25 you can even show it like this. 5 square is 25. Next let's try with the golden bead of uh, the short bead chain of 10. Okay, you know any way you know that this is 10, right? Yes, you all are very familiar with this uh, color. It is nothing but 10 only. So you have a short bead chain of 10s and you already know the skip counting of 10s also. So let us start. Do you, do you want me to count one by one or can, can you just say otherwise also without counting? Let's do at least two and then we'll go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to keep here ten, okay? Next one. After ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So you see that it is going to Go forward as 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I have here the arrows also accordingly. It says 30, 40, 50, 60. Point it to the last bead, okay? After 60, 70. 80, 90 and after 90, 100. Okay. So what we are going to do now is like we, uh, earlier we had folded the chain, right? We are going to fold the tens chain also. You remember what is the last one in this? The last one, last arrow is 100. So there has to be 100 beads in this. You already know how 100 will be, right? This is your 100, is it not? You are very familiar with this. Okay, now let's try and make a 100 by folding this chain. Okay, now you just see how I am going to fold it, okay? I can either fold it like this also. Zigzag, zigzag. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag and zig. Last one. Now let's arrange it neatly. Now after arranging it, I can confirm it by bringing the square of 100 and putting on it. It sits perfectly on it. So a 10 square, this is a 10 square, a 10 square is 100, remember what was the last number that we took, 100, a 10 square is 100, okay, you can either show it, say it as 10 square is 100 or you show it like this, 10 square, okay, 
a twin square is 100. So now we'll wind up, we'll have to take and keep this. So you'll have to put the square back inside, the chain back into the tray. And when you're taking the tens, you will take it in the order like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. And very carefully, you'll have to carry this to your shelf and put it back in its box or in its place hang it hang this chain by this edge there is a, can you see this ring here you'll have to hang it by this ring and the square you will keep it exactly over the short bead chain of 10 itself okay so that is all children I hope you were able to recollect all that we had done during the break, right? Yes. Uh, I, if I am right, everybody had worked with this material and you all know how to work with short bead chain and arrows and the squares. Is it not? With this material, we can clearly see that when you are counting in multiples, at certain point of times, you can get perfect squares. A square, of, a square for 2, a square for 3, a square for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you must be knowing by now that the square of 10 is 100 and the square of 5 was 25. Similarly, you can try and do the other beads also when you come back to school. Okay, see you all in another video. Until then, bye-bye.